I think that everybody's nervous. I mean, a lot of people know that they're not going to have a lot of work, uh, that the work's going to be cut short. The fishermen know that they're not going to um, get a chance to bring in what they could bring in. It was the company's original mission to strive to meet the needs of area restaurants for local and fresh seafood. But now, with new restrictions, Maine Shellfish Company is striving harder than ever before. Economically, it's, 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 a, it's a burden on uh, down east Maine. In November, regulators slashed catch limits by 70 percent, a decision that would cut the 2012 shrimp season drastically short. Last Thursday, after hearing arguments from industry members, fishery regulators voted to increase the amount of Maine shrimp that can be caught this season by 10 percent. But local processors and dealers say it's still not enough, with hundreds of jobs at stake. Overall, I think the industry is responsible, the shrimp industry is responsible for about 1,500 jobs during the shrimp season. And I can't tell you how that will be reduced, but with a significantly reduced quota, there's a significant reduction in employment. Regulators say, based on scientific assessments, the 4.9 million pound catch limit is the furthest they are willing to budge this season in fear of putting the shrimp population at risk. But Marcos, who was at the meeting in Portland last week, says it's the science that actually supports a much higher catch limit. We thought we had put together a very credible case and we're sorry that more consideration wasn't given to it. Officials are expecting this season to be cut short by four to six weeks. And if the restrictions aren't lifted in future seasons, it's the consumer who could be affected most. Seafood tastes are really, really localized and regionalized. And um, to see this main shrimp industry go away, uh, you're just taking a great product off the market. You really are. In Ellsworth, I'm Lindsay Mills.